Thomas Edison's last words were, it's beautiful over there. There's no proof he's talking about the palm trees he planted on McGregor Boulevard, but it did give the street curb appeal. I would say this is our champion Fort Myers Royal Palm, for sure. And it's so significant that you can tell, literally, it is head and shoulders above everything else. And it's believed to have been around since 1906, if palm fronds could talk. So he pretty much saw these beautiful royal palms at the Royal Palm Hotel, right? That makes sense. He said, aha, that would make sense to have along this grand road. We want to make it beautiful. At 112 years old, this palm tree has survived it all. So it's all genetics. Palm trees are basically fibrous material inside, so they take up a lot of water. They hold up really well in hurricanes. They have like a mat system of roots that literally can go just, you know, way far out past the drip line. Now, Edison put the bill for the original 200 palm trees. He imported some from Cuba, but he had most of them taken from the Everglades. Wherever they came from, Fort Myers has always maintained them. And we became the city of palms. By the way, America's inventor invented that nickname as well. So that makes total sense that we are kind of a conglomeration of a lot of different types of people here that from all over the world that we would grow palms that come from all over the world. So City of Palms is perfect to me. Edison's quote ends, I don't know where over there is, but I hope it's beautiful. And for all his bright ideas, he deserves to be in a place as beautiful as the estate he left behind for us to visit.